a lot of people don't have male or female reproductive organs. So, like, don't be weird about it. I wouldn't even hide it anymore. You're just like a Ken doll down there. We on, man? Yes, we are. Welcome to episode number four of the Marty and Michael podcast. It's fully actual. It's actually full. And holy shit, yeah, we're back again and um, fucking hell. We've, we've, when you, while you're listening to this, our first episode of our series came out yesterday where we box Anthony Mundine. Right, so fucking, if you haven't watched that, quickly go and have a fucking squiz now, right? Because fuck me, it's good. And we put a lot of effort into this series. So if you could comment on there, on Facebook or on YouTube or something on the Marty and Michael channels, that'd be great. Maybe even share it. Oh, that would be even so tops, man, if you could do that. (laughs) And um, yeah, we still haven't finished. We've got five episodes in the bank. And yesterday we filmed the Rugby League episode and fuck me. Saw today, hey, with Jordan Kahu. He's a fucking New Zealand rugby league player, and man, he's um he's not the biggest guy, but he's fast, and boy, can he hit hard. I <laughs> remember. Yeah, I didn't do it because my ribs broken. Yeah, so uh, Marty had to cop this one. So that's gonna that's another episode coming out. Now we've only got five left to film, so we're halfway there, and we've got most of the shit ones out of the way. So we're pretty chuffed about that. Next week, though, we've got to go to the Nitro Circus, boys. <sighs> And they've got a mega ramp. Yeah. That's where you get tackled. Fair enough. You might break a bone like if I If you did. fuck this up though. You're dead. Or paralyzed. Oh. Even worse. As long as you hit the ramp properly, you should be able to land on the deflatable fucking inflatable thing. I can't even ride a skateboard and we're yeah, doing this. He's so <laughs> fucked. What we're going to... We'll probably get Julian to be our test dummy. Yeah, just is. to see if it's safe or not. Like, obviously, we're not going to risk, like, our lives. So, um, we'll just throw Julian in first, make sure it's doable. And then, um, yeah. If he dies, we won't do it. If he lives, I'll have a crack. Well, if he lives and, like, doesn't get hurt, then I'll I'll do it. But if he gets hurt in any way, I'm done. Yeah, my Done with that episode. When was the last time you guys rode a push bike? Oh, oop. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, probably America. So, like five years oh, ago. Yeah. No, America in LA. Did we? Oh, we hired bikes there too that time. I was yeah. talking about You go time down on push before. bike. You go, you drive around the beach. Venice Beach. I mm. mean, down the ramp though. We go down the ramp on a push no, bike. No, we're going to go on a trike. Apparently, that's the easiest thing to go it's like down. a little fucking three-wheeler. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's been scary, okay? I've got a broken rib. Marty's... What's happened to you? I've had heart palpitations. Yeah, that started up lately for him. From the blunt force trauma. Oh, man. But we're getting it. We're halfway there. We've got most of the hard ones done first. So, yeah, go fucking keep an eye out, guys. It's going to be, uh, yeah, we put a lot of effort into this series. So, fucking keep an eye out for it. Oh, we got 10 episodes over the next 10 weeks coming out. Fucking hell. Um, let's just get our fucking sponsor out of the fucking way, right? Which is us. We sponsor it ourselves, don't we? The uh, University cool. of Markle, where we put weekly fucking vlogs. They're like 20 minutes long. You get behind the scenes of all the content we post to social media. You get to have monthly Q&As with us where we go live and you can talk to us. It's just, there's a lot of cool shit going on. And it's fuck everyone's loving the vlogs. And um, yeah, fucking, if you want to support us yeah. in any way, you fucking jump on. You get free, you get 21 days free trial. Link in the description. So you can see if you like the content. And if you don't like it, you can leave. And people always ask, how do I support you? And there are so many cool people in our university group already that are like, I don't care. I just want to fucking support you guys. So I'm forever going to be a member. There's a, a member in the group who's uh, messaged us and was like, I'm going to get a tattoo of your logo on me. And we said, fuck yeah. So there's just fucking legend shit going on. It's like a on beautiful there, little community, Jesus. like a cult. Yeah. A real fucked up cult. <laughs> like a religion. It's a really fucked up religion. Yeah. Is it true that two people met each other through? Yeah. Two guys? people. We, we two people fell are in fucking love. cupids, dude. Yeah. And Matthew, speaking of the University of Markle, I'm sure you've signed up by now. <laughs> oh my god! Some fucking wow. friend slash producer, <laughs> fucking slash scum, business cunt. associate. You are. You, you are a fucking scum cunt. Pig. <laughs> now, if you can't afford the uh, ten, show bucks- us it. Fucking pull your show us your fucking nipples. Why? No, because, because you don't fucking support us, so you have to pay us in another way. 
<laughs> Show us. Yeah. I want to see that red areola. Come on. Glaring at me. Here. I want to see the fucking here. 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 Do it. Come here. No. Come here. Please. Feel your ass a bit. No. Come here. I'm fucking Man, come show here. us something. We are not continuing bum or until tits. you come here. You show us your bum or your tits. Come here. I'm going to fill you up later when we the camera's We are continuing, off. Matt, until you fuck stand right here. Matthew, get it what done. What do you want? I want to grab your ass. Give me something. You fucking do it or I will. No. Why not? You didn't fucking support us. This is so how let you us support, support us. you. I'll think about it. M- Matt, Fuck, this we are not up. moving forwards until you come here and let me feel your ass. <laughs> come on, dude. Come you on, let we, us we sometimes. Got all day. We got all day. I've got my berries. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to touch your ass. Not your bare ass, just through your pants. What's stop, happened to you? Stop making this stop weird. trying to act cool in front of the camera. I'm not, I'm not in front of the camera. Well, you're being behind it like a sneaky cunt. Let's fucking <laughs> let's do it. That is fucking sly. Let you us grab behind you. The camera. Let us grab you. Don't ignore us, dude. All right, you either fucking sign up to our university, or Marty grabs you, or you show us some nips. You got three options, man. That's a lot of options. I don't do that to my child, people, children, people. I've I'll have a think. What well, I'm going to choose. All uh, right. Anyway, if you can't... That's I'm, fucked. I'm pissed. Anyway, if you can't <laughs> afford the $10 a month, you can support us in other ways by commenting, smashing that subscribe button. Still notice that like a third of the viewers aren't subscribed. Just takes a second. Just quickly press the red button and then YouTube thinks, oh, people like this. And then they show it to more people. Or you can push the thumbs up button or you can comment. And if you can't think of a comment, just write the word comment and we'll know that you're one of those people who wants to support us but doesn't know what to say. You fucking cunt, Matt. You fucking dog cunt. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, I can't look at him right now. I want to. (laughs) I'm imagining him naked in my brain, but I'm not going to look at him. I'm going to give him eye contact. I did it. <laughs> he got me. He got me. All right. All right. Let's move on to on this days because fuck, I haven't read these. I only just walked through the door, Matt. How are they? Fuck, we better hope they're, they're legitimate. Good. They're legitimate, man. Like my kids. All right. Fucking hell. He's confident. They better be good. He's fucking confident. Okay. <clears throat> on this day in 1987, a hard, crusty baby ripped its way out from behind the pussy lips of its panicking mother. The baby stood up immediately and already had a full set of teeth grown out of its gums. The baby began talking in a deep man's voice and said, I'm going to produce the best fucking podcast in the entire history of podcasts, you dumb fucking cunts. Then turned and fucked its now unconscious mother before getting a job selling concrete. It was me, everyone. That's right. On this day, 34 years ago, Matthew Gregory Brown was fucking born. While I write this, it is still a week before my birthday, but I saw that this episode comes out on the 8th of March. So right now, while you're hearing this, it is my birthday. So do me a fucking favor and wish me a happy birthday in the comments section and via DM to my Instagram, at Matt Brown, and then four ones. Send him... Some no, fucking no dicks, beautiful nothing. videos. No, no nothing. beautiful videos. Yeah, oh. but you say beautiful videos and I get murders in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's beautiful. Maybe if you supported our fucking or showed us some skin. <laughs> anyway. Why, why don't you guys send him some clips from our you website? You fucked your mum when you were born? I guess we've all technically fucked our mums let's think about that we've been the whole way very graphic we've way to be born we've headed her we've thumbed her we've fisted her we've gone down on her we've done everything as I we came out of, of her vagina speak for yourself yeah I was a cesarean so I fucking I didn't do shit with my mum you guys are all fucked oh, dude I you was born in an egg after you came out as you double you fucked the gore, her you did the gore shit what's the gore oh yeah. you come out of the ass no when you come out of cesarean you were into the gory stuff you like a bit of blood yeah, You're yeah, worse I was, than anyone. Yeah, I, I cut my new hole. I fucked a fresh hole. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So, you did it twice, though. You, you even said that. That's weird. Anyway, just fucking become a member. Oh, show you, us a breast. You, show, you, us a, talk show us about your, ass. Talk about your own mother like this, man. Disgusting, by the way. What was her name again? Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's his mom. Julia. <laughs> my mother, Julia. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <clears throat> 
On this day in 1978, Thomas Edison burnt his eyelids off with blah, blah, blah. It's my fucking birthday, you dicks. I can say and do whatever I want, and you guys can't get mad because it's my birthday. Marco, your face skin looks like a testicle skin and looks like it would be a similar texture. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha. Very good. Nah, that's very good. Yeah, I guess it does is... look a bit like ball skin, doesn't it? Oh, shit, maybe under the eye. Fuck, I'm self-conscious. Patchy, like, pubes on it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's my uh, beard. On this day in 2017, Matt Brown, Matt Brown, Matt Brown. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Michael, I want you to come over here and kiss me, even if I'm saying no, no, don't. Don't believe me. That's just part of this silly game I'm playing. I actually do want you to kiss me, even if you have to chase me around this whole house. No, don't. <laughs> what are you no, waiting for, Michael? Don't. Come and kiss me. It's my birthday. No, no. Oh, Matt, oh, he's no, doing no. it. He's saying, <laughs> Michael's chasing. Michael, he's, he's cornered him in the kitchen. He's cornered him in the kitchen. Overpower him, Michael. Overpower him, Michael. Kiss him. So, just a bit on the cheek, Matt. Just a bit. Yeah, he got him. Michael's just kissed Matt. From Matt's request, Michael kissed him right on the cheek. Well done. All right, Matt, this is getting fucking weird. <sighs> yeah, you Job got done. what you wanted. Matt, are you happy? Job done, mate. I guess Job so. Done. You didn't put much of resistance. Anyway. All right, last one. On this day in 1986, John Travolta's daughter, who was dying from jaw cancer, was the recipient of a Make-A-Wish Foundation wish and got to spend an entire weekend on her favorite celebrity businessman's private island, Jeffrey Epstein. Unfortunately, she died on the trip by drowning from inside her body by massive amounts of ejaculate filling her lungs. The death was not found to be suspicious, and they said it was probably the jaw thing she had. Mm. Whose daughter? John Travolta's daughter. Wow. Oh, uh, wow. I don't even know we had a daughter. You find out some cool shit. That's cool. That's real cool. Now show us your ass. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. I got a kiss from you and you wanted it. All right. Moving right along to the next segment, which, oh, by the way, we'll let, give you as a rundown of what we're doing today for the podcast. We got a fucking, the hunt has taken a turn for the better. That segment. We've got the f no PM on boxing this week because you dogs are too lazy to send us shit, which is fine. Oh, no, fine. that's not okay. There's what? How many of them? Anyway, I shouldn't. Yeah. And we got fucking, uh, we're going to do some paranormal stories, uh, questions, and of course a prank call where um, I attempt to get a job for the third, possibly the final time. Uh, what are we going with? Like a fucking trade call job? Some tradies, man, and see if I can pick up some fucking labor and work. They eat. Two, and two, of course the German two. segment Begin What's the first one? You dogs have asked us fuck loads of questions We've got fuck loads of questions this week And we love it But we're like fuck There's so many questions We don't know which ones to answer So system. so from now on We're going to answer the questions That have the most likes On our YouTube channel comment section So if you're listening to this, have a scroll through the comments while you are. If you see a question you want answered, give it a like. And we're going to answer the most liked questions, okay? So that's that way everyone's fucking, everyone gets fuck, uh, all the cool questions. Everyone wants to get in first. If I spot one that's really interesting but got no likes, can I chuck it in Matt, there too? Matt, you can do whatever you yeah, want. It's your, your fucking birthday. You're fucking Thank subscribed you. to the website. Uh, Maybe. I kissed him. Yeah, you got it. Like a bristly kiss. Mm. Yeah. But it's kind of nice. You know yeah. what I mean? I know. It's exfoliating. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that right? Mm. 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 That's mm. great. Yeah. Mm. Lovely. It's great to see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that sound real? <laughs> well, let's do some ASMR. Do you know what that is? The audio thing? Yeah. Hey, listen. Listen to this. That sounded like you were really eating berries. Yeah. Eh? I'm eating berries. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah, that's why it sounded so real. Yeah. All right. So, there was a ton of questions and um, I picked 11. <laughs> Sweet. Um, a lot of people are asking for um, Arnold Fine to return as well. He will come back soon. He's got to... With the thing with jokes is you got to... You gotta, if we make the same joke every week, it gets less old. funny. 
So you gotta give some time and it comes back as well. It's just as funny, see? Question! Uh, all right. Question for Number the one. podcast. Um, um, oh, man, I wish I wiped my ass properly. Eh? <laughs> You've been <laughs> scratching it everywhere. It's getting bad. All right, go. From Donut, Donut Films, Films, question for the podcast. Why does Julian have the laugh of a 40-year-old man? I don't know. What's his laugh like? I don't remember it. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, very good, Matt. Do that again. <laughs> Oh yeah. That's... Actually, I don't even know if that's. <laughs> yeah, that's it's so out of my head. I don't know, but uh, I think it's a cute laugh. I don't mind when he laughs. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad laugh. We can't. Well, I can't fucking talk. I sound like a five-year-old. Yeah, you're like a hyena girl or something. Something like that, isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both speak, of you just hurt my feelings. It's from Sean Streeter. Marty, if it was the end of the world and there is one seat left on the spaceship, who would you take, Michael or Bosley? Well, I'd have to take Michael. But fuck, it'd be it'd be a devastating day, that's for sure. Because Bosley's probably only got like another one. He's <sighs> halfway. To say it. He's, He's halfway. probably got about another seven years tops, and Michael's maybe got like another nine years tops. So I'd be there, a bit more company for you in the space shuttle. So Michael's probably going to live longer. So I'd have to take the serpent have over you, the dog. Have you seen that movie Passengers? Yeah. Is that where they go to space? Yeah, and they mm. wake up, and then he wakes up a girl. So he's got a bit man, you'd fucking, it'd be fucking. Mm, it would be sort of rad. I'd wake everyone up. No, because <laughs> then food gets limited. Like, no, nah, I'd eat all their food. Sorry. Next question. Hey? Um, next question is from Toyota Prius lover, um, Mickey. What is one thing you hate about Martin? And Martin, what is one thing you hate about Mickey? Love you, dogs. So uh, the fucking. Sometimes when you don't feel like being sexually assaulted. <laughs> Which is never. Nah, sometimes it's okay. If I'm in a giggly mood, I can take it. But when he just flicks or grabs the tip of your dick, every time it's just a tip, pinches it. It's the sickest feeling. Oh, dude. when he gets you through today, a doorway Today, today he brushed. Oh, no, last night. Last night you saw it. He brushed and tickled my nipple as he went past. Yeah, I, I did. fucking hate getting touched on the nipple. And yeah, like I snap at him sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, probably the sexual harassment when you don't feel like it. That's I deny these allegations, by the way. You love it. You're always saying, oh, whenever when no one's around, he's always like, oh, dude, thanks for that today, by the way. Really appreciate that. Yeah, got like, to do it more. Pretends like he loves got to do it more. It's really funny. Yeah. So annoying. And that's probably the thing I hate most about Michael <laughs> is that he's always like tells me one thing one-on-one -on -one when we're alone <clears throat> and then pretends like he fucking hates it when like there's a group of people around or like on a podcast. Like you have out, you've spoken out to me. You've said you really like it when I'm feeling you up and shit and you pretend to get annoyed at it, but you love it. So you're different behind closed doors. Yeah. Yeah. What? So basically, the cabinet leaders. <laughs> this is a facade. This is a facade. It's a mirage. Seeing. Hologram. Ooh. Mm. Next question is from Air Force One. Yes. Uh, do you guys wear briefs or boxes? What are briefs? I What's think that's difference? an American way of oh, saying boxes like, are those fucking things we wore in high school. Remember when everyone was like low riding going through? Yeah. This thing? No yeah. way would I wear boxes. Yeah. It's briefs. Jocks I wear. Yeah. So briefs. Right. needs to be if it's too loose, loose it feels uncomfortable cock and balls just flopping around everywhere yeah. it's like it's I need it to be secured but not too tight when it's too tight mm. it hurts Breeze is like a bra for your cock and balls and boxes is just like a woman wearing a really loose shirt uh, yeah her and tits like, would be fucking flopping around everywhere and that's how you get breast cancer yeah I did read that in an article that I wrote yeah next question is from Lee Wilson why don't you guys let Matt sit on the podcast so we can I see I want him. him. I want him Look, here. He fucking denies our advances. He's a sly pig behind the fucking <laughs> camera. Behind the fucking camera. Not fucking supporting us. Doesn't, yeah. Won't even give us a feel. Yeah, like he doesn't. He used to fucking flash us shit. Mm. You would flash us stuff. Teasing slut. <laughs> you used to, dude. Oh, Maybe in the future. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we got to have Matt back on as a guest again. Well, um, Julian made a good suggestion that we maybe put a camera on me for laughs, but Ooh. we'll wait and see. And like Ooh. a really close up of Jussie's mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. or nostrils. Or my eyes, <laughs> just moving side to side. <clears throat> or your bum bum. Next question is from Ruben Mate. Uh, what is your favorite AFL team? Love the work. Oh, well, we used to follow AFL fair bit, played it for like a season or two and um, in Brisbane, so the Brisbane Lions, but I haven't really followed it much 
And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the entire AFL community hates us now because <laughs> yeah, I don't Michael. fucking watch the sport. Eh? Shut so. up, you're a Collingwood supporter. Oh. Whatever's for that. Next question is from Vajak. Vajak. Yeah, Vajak. Um, you're pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. Has it ever has it ever occurred to either of you that Michael looks like a drunk Jesus? Yeah, of course it's occurred to us. But Jesus had like brown hair and Michael's got um, bright red hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's, um, wasn't Jesus like from the Middle East? He's definitely in the Jerusalem area. Is that Middle yeah, East? Yeah, Jerusalem. Sure. He's from Israel. Israel is, um, it's just above France. Ah, <laughs> that's good geography. Well done. Yeah. Well, there you go. Drunk so Jesus. Jesus is French. I'm pretty sure he was like, oh, bonjour, cunt, when he was on the fucking cross and shit. He's like, bonjour, cunt. I'm pretty sure that's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of fucking frogs and shit on him, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, no, no, no. Fuck off, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck off, cunt. No, fuck off, cunt. That didn't fucking happen, cunt. Jesus lived and died for our sins. Oh, next question is from Tala Ahmed. Ahmad. Sorry, mate. Ahmed. Fucking bonjour, cunt. <laughs> Has any of you guys ever gotten a surgery done? P.S. Touching Matt's hemorrhoid doesn't count. I had grommets when I was a little kid. I struggled with hearing or some shit. What's grommets? They put these little fucking little, like, things in your ears smaller. and they sit in there and then they help you hear better. What? <laughs> what yeah. happened to them? Are they, they still in? They fall out eventually. I had to get them replaced a couple of times. No wonder you're weird. What yeah. the fuck, cunt? They're you, called they grommets. Could, Look it up. Dude, you could park in the disabled parking. No, All it's along. not that bad. Dude, you basically have a fucking hearing aid. You had a fucking hearing aid that fell out, oh, cunt. shit, I couldn't hear you, but yeah. See? I've had surgery on my broken arm when I was a three, but- You had a broken- Oh, you told me this. But, um, How did yeah. you break your arm? You I fell, fell off the trampoline. A, no, I fell off the playground. Oh, same thing. I was um copying uh, the old children and I- tried um hanging upside down i was three and i fell and snapped my arm in half shit and you had to get surgery for that that's fucked fuck. wow. um michael's right grommets are a tiny tubes inserted into the eardrum they allow <laughs> air to pass through the eardrum keeping the air pressure on either side equal so you had no i used to get huge ear infections still do now and then i've probably had maybe five in my 20s remember when i threw heaps of sand in your ears at the beach and you got an ear infection oh dude they are excruciating. Have you ever had an ear infection? <laughs> yeah, no. I've had one and they are, you're right. They, it's a whole night of agony. Then you go to the hospital. The best thing that came out of ear infections was when I was about 11 years old. And your uncle fucked you. No, different time. I went to the emergency room and then the pain was that excruciating that some nurse injected morphine into my ass and that's when I discovered hard drugs. When you're 11 years old. It's fucking... If you have the opportunity to do morphine- Was it morphine or fentanyl? Morphine. You fucking take it. Only if it's, you are in pain though. And re we don't recommend taking yeah, it. Yeah, don't do it all the time. It. it is honestly the best it's feeling ever. Like, Was morphine stronger than fentanyl? It's sort of like heroin. And I haven't done heroin. Hmm. But I've heard it's similar. Morphine's like your, all your pain goes away. I was like, mom, I feel so good. And then it all went black. And all the pain went away. Fuck, I will never forget that. What was your mum wearing then? I don't remember what she was wearing. I do. You weren't there. Nothing. Next question. Next question is from Daniel Chen. Um, how many wigs does Marty have? Wigs? Yeah, wigs. Oh, no, this is These my real hair, but I just go get it done like every week. There's a rumor going around that you're wearing wigs on the He podcast. looks good with long hair. Hey, look at that. Wigs. This is just my face. Everyone looks good with long hair. Make sure if you've never had long hair, grow your hair out to see. Give me that mirror. Good. What are you talking about? Should I grow it I one look last year? So it looks with like. long hair. You look fucking good. Yeah, you're right. Might keep this hairstyle for a while, eh? And anyone looks. Most people look good with long hair and eyeliner. And final question for the podcast is from Taylor Dow. Bitch. Um, oh, he's gotten a bit serious. Do you boys feel like social media has become more of an obligation slash job than it did when you started a few years back? Does it feel forced at times? It yeah. can, but it goes depending on what you're doing, what project. Right now, social media is probably the best it's ever been. Why? 
because we're fucking filming shit oh, we yeah. love. No, social media, it's like the work. Oh, we're yeah, not the fucking good. Not the, the rules, uh, not the, the, so, the. Social media has become the most PG censored shithole since we started. But, and yeah, it does, it does, it does become, well, it is a job now. So mm. whether we, it's still fun, we like doing it. But yeah, if we want to keep this as a job, we have to keep making videos. We can't like just film and then have a break for a few months and then film and have a break for a few months. Otherwise, we'll fucking. It's relentless. But that's why you got to make what you're doing, what you're filming, you enjoy. So this new series, which sports the scariest, is very fucking scary, but it's very fun yeah, and it's, rewarding. It's a bit more rewarding. But yeah, social media as a whole and what they're doing with it, fucked. it's become so PC with all you fucking snowflakes out there that we're going to live in a fucking world where there's no freedom of speech and we'll all be fucked. That's anyway. why we got the website. We post whatever the fuck we want and no one can do nothing about it. I got and a follow-up Matt question. loves it too. He fucking loves it. Here we go. Matt's got a fucking question. Here we fucking go. Take your shirt off. <laughs> will, there be, will anyone ever create a social media where the, you can just post whatever you want? Well, well there are nah, things like they, sim- Twitter's similar. It's similar. You can, you can Twitter's fucking- censored now. They fucked up. You, they, you fucking say the wrong thing. But there's thing. still porn Bang. on there. Yeah, but I'm talking about speech. Mm-hmm. Yeah, More I important. Know. I don't know. They blocked the president of the US. Yeah, exactly. Who's really the controller of the I world? I don't know if yeah, if anyone will fucking if any pla- if any social media platform will ever be completely uncensored. I just do not know Matthew Brown. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the best part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for question time. Oh, very beautiful. Very beautiful ending with the berry. Very good questions, guys. Keep them fucking coming in. And remember, if you do write a comment, have a a question, have a look through and vote for your fucking favorite ones with a like. (laughs) Next segment. The Hunt! I love that. I love that part. All right. <clears throat> now we have uh, some some breaking news with the hunt. All right, so we've done it. Okay, we had an objective and we've done it. All right, so let me fucking let me go through what happened. So first of all, right, Hamish replied. Okay, all the people commenting on his fucking posts, it worked. Job well done. He read our um he read our DM. Let me just find it and he replied. I uh, yeah explained to him that we thought he was a hologram and then he hadn't been replying for a while. So I said, you are being so hologram right now. And then he replied, ha ha, okay. So I've just got across this. Apparently Ando has the t-shirt. We will try and film something when we're together this week to put this nasty rumor to rest. And then in brackets, he's got ha ha jokes. It has to be in a week's time. So my hard drives can write the proper code to make me look real in the video. Just admitted it. So, you know, it's a bit like, what the fuck, man? He's sort of like, is is he hiding in plain sight by saying, by joking about it? All right, so that's Hamish, all right? So he's gotten back to us. Now, Andy, he replied, he's got the shirt and he sent us the fucking video. So we did it. A fucking round of applause. Four weeks, not even three weeks to get this hunt done. Three weeks. So we have, I have right here a message, a video from Andy. All right, ready? Everyone listen to this. All right, so Andy has fucking replied. Marty, Michael. We are real. I'm not a hologram. But I guess that's what a hologram would say if they were trying to pretend they weren't. Quite the conundrum, boys. <laughs> He's wearing the shirt. Look, look at that. He's fucking wearing the shirt. So we you'll are- see it if you watch it on YouTube. You obviously just hear it on the Spotify. Andy's not a fucking hologram. All right. He's proven it. He's worn the shirt. He did it. He did what we asked. Andy's not a hologram. Jury's still out on Hamish. But me now, personally, after his reply, I do believe that he's also real. Okay. So we've done it. You happy with that? I'm. Oh yeah, I'm pretty. It's Matt? amazing. I think uh, Andy is the puppeteer of Hamish. Could and be. He's in control. Could be. But could be. But he's real. Andy's definitely real, and I think he could be controlling Hamish. But at the end of the day, we did it. All right, we proved that they are not holograms. I genuinely thought maybe they were for a while, but we did it. Okay, we got the fuck. They might be. We got to get to the bottom of this. We have to find out. We need to get them to send another video. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> um, but we need a new mission and we've got a new mission. Have we? A new <laughs> hunt, as we call it. Have uh, you? Yes, guys. So the so we completed that Matt hunt. doesn't know it. 
Okay, so we've oh, we we can put that rumor to bed. Hamish and Andy are real. Okay, we're satisfied. So now we move on to the next objective with the hunt. Now, in Australia, morning TV shows are kind of big deal, right? And Carl Stepanovic is a host on one of the mo- the morning show, the Today Show, the best, show the best there one, is. the highest rated. Is it the Today Show, Matt? Can you check that before we fuck Fucking this up? Hmm. <laughs> No, I won't spit. Um, how are we going to do this? We're just going to fucking bombard them. We're going to go in there with bombs strapped to ourselves and we're going to say, you let us on here or we blow this motherfucker up. And then we like turn into a song and dance. Yeah. And, all right. Yeah. Okay. So then it's not. Oh, yeah. And the bombs are fake bombs. So it's safe. And we have a little, um, like a little sticker on it that says fake bombs or something. Yeah. Just so people know that it's fake. But the dancing and performance will turn them to want us on the show. <clears throat> okay. So starting this week, we're going to start to make inroads. We want to get on the Today Show for Matt, is it the Today Show? I'm looking at um, his Wikipedia. It does say Today Show host 2020 onwards. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, he is, he's, the, he's the Today Show host. There's no doubt about this it. This is okay. the most important morning show in Australia. Carl Stefanovic, he is the man of morning shows. He can decide who gets on the fucking he's show been, or not. He fucking survived like two or three shark attacks. So, we're, so after this episode, I'm gonna, we're going to start making inroads to get on the Today Show. And our angle is going to be via Carl to start with, okay? We're going to try and get on there. We're going to try and make something newsworthy. We just want to fucking get on the Today Show. Okay? We deserve it. Fucking oak, we deserve it. All right? So, we are going to push hard. So, we need you guys to get ready because by next week, we're probably going to have some instructions. We'll have some tasks. And we need your help again, guys. So, fucking get ready to help we us out. We are a team. This hunt is a team effort. We'll fucking... We'll tell... We'll tell... If we get on the Today Show, we'll thank our podcast listeners, or you guys, if you help us get this done. All right? That's the new hunt. Getting on the Today Show. Right? Do the the hunt. Do that tone of the the hunt. This is the hunt. hunt! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Aye, aye. Okay. That is that. We all know about that. The fucking hunt. We did it. The first one. Three weeks. Nothing. Shit. God damn it. We are good. Good. We are fucking Good. good. All right. Now, the next segment is called... Oh, that's my no, that's a table. By the way, I'm not. I haven't farted once today. So he hasn't had guys... any gas. But yesterday, he did about fifty. I didn't have the recorder with me, but yeah, yeah. today no gas. So I don't. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to try this until maybe next the week. berries will stir it up. You never know. No, I've been eating the berries for an hour and still nothing, darling. You guys have sent in your paranormal stories, and we're going to read a few, okay? Because we love that shit. Ghost stories, alien stories, all sorts of shit. All right, paranormal stories. This is from Kira dot May. So my craziest paranormal encounter was when my older brother his girlfriend and i were playing his girlfriend's ouija board and after like 30 minutes of thinking it was bullshit my brother said of there are any spirits here make yourself heard or whatever and then i I say there was a loud ass bang come outside on the car i mean there was a loud bang and we went out there and there wasn't a dinner or anything so it's something slammed the door or something and the lights were on and everything so yeah like that's that's like that's pretty shit. That's a pretty <laughs> shit story. <laughs> but we'll continue because it's a new segment. All right, well, that's not a good start there, Kira May. Not a good start at all. Anyway, next one is from Tilla Vallega. Okay, and she has said, "I was twelve years old and I slept in the same room with my little sister." Ooh. We both had bunk beds. Mine was right next to the door, so I could see out to the stairs. The light was still up out on out there, and our mum had le- just left the room after putting us to bed. I heard that the door quietly opens. I look down to see who it is, but no one is there. Then I heard slow steps 
reaching closer and closer to my bed. I wanted to scream, shout, cry for my mum, but I couldn't. I didn't have my voice. I wrapped my blanket around my body as I heard the steps on my ladder. It had the exact same sound as usually at the second rung where it stepped on it, but it didn't stop there. I peeked out of my blanket and saw a black, dark figure reaching towards my leg. A weird buzz ran through my body and stopped me from moving, but I didn't stop trying to stop it, peeling off my blanket. Then in the second second, I... Sat up in my bed and no one was there. It was like a shutdown. But the next day it came again. Do you know this what? This sounds, I know exactly yeah. what you're about to this say. Is what I have? This is a fucking sleep this paralysis. Sleep yeah. paralysis, 100%. It does, and it does feel paranormal. But yeah, that's what happens. You, yeah. fuck, you can't move, and you can't like, scream, yep. and you feel that vibration in your body. And the figure comes and they just as you closer. feel them lean onto the bed, you, you go to move, and then you realize finger, you're, yeah. you're fucked. Fucked up. Scary shit. But yeah, that just sounds that, like- That fucking happens. I haven't had it for a long time now. I haven't had it for very long, for a while now, but- but it, I, I found the best way to deal with it is to accept it. And when I did do that- I Yeah, was, you laugh I at it. I was lucid dream. I was lucid dream. Yeah. I used to tell it to fuck off. It's literally but, a portal to lucid dream. Yeah. But that's where I went. Mm. So, there you go. That was sleep paralysis. Thanks, story is from Jono Jaws Wallace. When I was a young ringworm, about seven years old, this used to happen a lot and went on for over a year. This happened when I was going to sleep. Something would tap me on, a sh- on my shoulder and because- it had happened just as I'm falling asleep. I would spin around grumpy and grumpy like and ready to say go away. Standing there was a child in the olden days black jacket and short school uniform with a white scruffy shirt. I'd absolutely freak out and can't even scream. The only thing I could do is slowly roll over and put my blanket over my head. But for hours it would constantly tap on my shoulder. Oh man, that's sick. For a long time I was going to school half asleep because of the little sleep I was getting plus still being freaked out. I would not fucking... Mm. I would have a light on in my room. 100%. And I would not sleep in that fucking room if that happened once. Mm. 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 All right, that's the... uh, Fuck it. That'll do with the paranormal (laughs) stories. Comment if you like that segment. If you thought it was as shit as we did, also tell us that it was shit. And we'll scratch it and we'll come up with something even what more. What was the one we just genius. came up with before? You did? Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to suggest maybe oh, we yeah. we have a segment where we see what type of fucked up people listen to the podcast and people send in messages of the worst crimes that they've committed. Yeah. So, so comment those- if you want the worst crime segment instead of the paranormal one, let us know. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Sorry for that. Yeah. Would that open us up to bullshit stories? Yeah, of course. But everything we do is open up to bullshit Mm. stories. Some of you on these days were questionable, my friend. Yeah, Mm. but that's real. We know that's real. It's birthdaying, mate. And birthdaying ain't always real. It's only one day a year. It's my fucking pig. No matter what I say today is real. It's my birthday. Israel. You're not from Israel. Next segment. What was it called again? What was the song? Um, Harry Bomber Kinder 4 Want to have fucks in the Ebens or Or isn't it but that'll do And this is a segment where I casually Calmly Normally Read four German no. phrases So it's three now Three German phrases As if I was speaking to another German person Because the German language is so beautiful and evolved That it sounds cool And we have a fucking huge German audience don't do i have that. noticed that the german comments are growing and they want to hear, they ask they ask questions in yeah, german because they can hear me talking to them that's the thing about germans we're all very intuitive oh intuitive oh, yeah, that's such no, a german that fucking thing, thing to do. Did that. all right <laughs> here we go was muss das muss was muss das muss was muss das muss <laughs> oh. Which means what must that must. Okay, I get which it. means you've got to do what you've got to do. Was muss was muss was muss das muss was muss das muss was muss das muss was muss was muss das muss. I'm Fuck. getting. I'm getting. Uh, it. Uh, yeah, it was very German. Mm. Was muss das muss. <laughs> <laughs> Ich habe eine Auge auf dich geworfen. Ich habe eine Auge auf dich geworfen. 
Vi står bare en afgang. Kan du... Åh, det står for mig. Kan du have en berry, så siger jeg? Åh, den sidste one away. Okay. Nej, nej, okay. Af det skal vorfen. Which means I've thrown an eye on you. Which means I cast an eye on you. Uh, like, like I'm watching you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, you sweaty fuck! It's hot, man. Hey, eh? mm-hmm. I got a wig on. I got fucking <laughs> hot berries in front of me here. Yeah, I got lights on me. Do you think hot when day. Nikki wrote all these, she had she understood our sense of humor that she knew which yeah. sentences were funny? I reckon funny? Nikki knows us pretty well. Yeah, she's got. Similar sort of fucking brain. This phrase I've actually said to people. She is us. The only problem with Nikki is she is is German. Oh, Why is that a problem? That's not a problem. I don't understand that one. Why yeah, is that that's a problem? A bit mean. Hey, I'm just saying. Anyway, move on. <clears throat> okay. Hey, hey, du kannst mich mal! Du kannst mich mal! Hey, hey, du kannst mich mal! Which means, you can me once. You can me once. Which means, like, fuck off. <laughs> Disgustive door! Hey, 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 hey! Du kannst mich mal! <laughs> du kannst mich mal! <laughs> it's like an old man German. <laughs> what would your neighbors think hearing all this? If they're know. German, they'd be like, oh, they're having a disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd come over with a hamper full of delicious cured meats. Because that's what Germans do. And maybe a blended up Jew. <laughs> Juice, <laughs> blend up juice. Yeah, that's true. That's well, everyone likes like juice. apple and orange juice. <laughs> juice in my mouth. <laughs> I love watching you eat berries. Maybe we could start another channel. <laughs> Eating berries. The berry channel. Oh, fuck me. That was good. All right. Thank you, Germany. Thank you, Germany. Thank you, Germany, for, for having such special noises as your words. That makes up for a lot of shit you've done. A lot of shit. You are very offensive. <laughs> that is where I am from. I am from that part of the world. <laughs> I was born there. I was reared there. <laughs> oh, reared? Reared. <laughs> By oh. German folk. Oh, oh. oh. oh you oh. can't take it seriously, seriously with, with the, the fucking, fucking hair. hair. All right. right. Next, Next segment. segment. <clears throat> final segment. <clears throat> final segment. Huh? All right, guys, fucking final segment. We got a fucking prank call, cunt. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. All right, I'm going to be Darren. I'm going to try and get a job. I'm going to call like an Aussie man so we can hopefully get a better reaction. All right, because Darren's a bit of a fucking... He sounds like... He's not going to school much. He doesn't sound like things are going too good. So I'm going to call just a random builder and see if I can pick up some extra work laboring. Right? Mm-hmm. Stay seated, man. He never does. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, you fucking spineless, spineless coward, man. Here we go. Got three fucking builders. Yeah, hey, guy, man. My name's um, Darren. Um, listen, I'm just calling around a uh, couple of builders, joints and that today. Just seeing if I can uh, pick up a couple of labouring hours work, is, see if there's anything going around. Um, and just seeing if there's anything I can do um, around the job site and that for you boys. Real cheap. Sorry, all of our labour hire is conducted, uh, is sourced through labour hire agencies. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, so if, um, they're pretty good if you approach them. Um, yeah, I've, they... I've, um, I've tried to do that. Like, I've just had some issues with, like, my laptop and that. And, like, for most of them, like, you got to do, like, online stuff. Like, you got to fill out, like, forms and that. And like they want like um like like what is it like a white card or some shit like that. So I was just I was just calling around right to see if like if there's any like cashies cashies going around. Like I'll do it real cheap too. Like I'm talking like maybe ten bucks an hour, right? And I'll just come in and clean up all the scraps and that from the um builders and that. So I was like I know like normally go through like labourers and that, but like I'm sort of taking um 
uh, in- initiative, right, and calling around doing it myself, you know what I mean? Mm, okay. Yeah, I wish I could help you, but, yeah, we don't. Everything's got to be through the books and legitimate. Right. Well, look, test. listen, mate, who, who makes who makes the decisions on, like, who hires people on that? Because maybe if, like, I had a chat to them and they could see, like, how, like, um, ambif- ambitious I am in that, maybe they, like, put me on... Um, you know, without the uh, going through the bloody yeah, the the um, labour hire thing, man. Tell him you've had yeah, a COVID no, test. That would be me, and no, we can't do that. All right, so you're so you're you're making the decisions, well, mate. Um, like uh, like you want to make money, right? Yeah. And I want to make money, right? So yeah. hear me out, and I know like you're doing it like by the books and that. I I respect that, right? But I'm telling you, mate, I'll work twice as hard. Twice as hard as any bloke through that labour hire, and I'll do it for half the price. I'll do it for half the price right now, bro. Go you sound very keen. I appreciate that. But yeah, um, I'm I'm, we, we don't operate that way. We everything has to be legitimate. Look, mate, I didn't want to have to. The I's cross the T's and that sort of thing. We we certainly pay above board wage for those who do work hard. Um, so the money's not the issue. Uh, it's the quality of person. Okay. All right, well, look, I didn't want to have to we're, put... We're happy to pay the, the you know, above award rate, right? um, but everything has to go through the agency. Yeah, right. Well, look, mate, I didn't want to have to pull out this last little trump card, right? But what if, right, I come in and, like, I work, like, fucking free, or, like, I work for free, right, no cash, nothing, for, Six let's months. say, let's say two weeks, right? Because I've got, like, rent now, I've got a little baby daughter I've got to look after and that. So, two weeks, right, for free, and then if he's happy, right, I will go through that labour hire thing that you's talking about, and I will do it legitimately. Mm, okay. Mm. Pretty good offer. That's very generous and uh, very keen of you. But, again... Um, we have to go through the right channels and like any person that works for us needs to be insured. We, we would hate for something to happen to you and uh, you'd be off work and not be able to work. I'm a dead. Um, and then insurance not be there to mm. provide for you. Yeah, man. Well, like, like with insurance and that, like, I've worked, like, 12-hour days once. I had, like, busted ankle and that. Like, I was so big and shit, like, I'm full swollen up and, like, I still work 12-hour days and that. So, unless I get, like, stabbed or shot or something, like, <laughs> trust me, bro, I'll, I'll be working. <laughs> but, um, like, like I said, though, mate, like, you, you got to throw you got to throw me a bone. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, I'm, I'm working for free for you. And, and, yeah, that's very keen. And yeah. like, and you ain't you ain't giving me much to work with here, mate. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a bit like it's a bit rude. You're coming across a bit rude. I don't want to say that, you know, because you're like possibly my new boss and that. But like, you 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 coming across a little bit rude. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm offering you my life here. Like, I will work till I die, bro. Yeah, but I'm offering to pay you more to, for going through legitimate channels. Now, you said before that you had laptop issues. Yeah. So look, I I know that. Uh, the labour hire companies I'll be honest I've never really used a laptop go into their office and key the information in and do whatever courses and inductions and that sort of thing using their computers yeah right um Look, listen, mate, I've gone through, look, I've tried the whole labour hire thing now, right? right? I'm going to come clean right now, right? I've done it, and a couple of the boys there, they got a bit of an issue with me, right? They don't like, um, they don't like me in that. So, like, they, I know for a fact that they got it out for me, and whenever I go in, whenever I bloody talk to them, right, they say, oh, we've got bloody Darren back, and they put, put my job at the bottom of the list, right? So I'm like, I'm fucking struggling, bro. It's like I've been calling around, joint after joint, nothing available here, and all the labour hire agencies, they've all got it out for me, man. I swear to fucking God, man. It's like so fucked. Mm. Okay, I hear your frustration. But uh, you certainly sound like a keen player. Man, I'll do I'll anything, keep, mate. Keep, I'll do keep, anything keep, you keep, want. Keep, keep, keep. At this time, I can't help you unless you do go through an agency. I'm sorry, I'm, mate, look, look, I, I, I fully respect what you're saying, right? But I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm going to fucking walk, rock up on Monday with bloody, with me boots on, with me high vis. I'm going to rock, rock up with, and I'm just going to bloody follow you boys to the closest job site and I'm going to start working, man. That's how I do it. That's how I roll, brother. Okay. Well, 
I strongly advise you don't do that. Oh, it's happening, man. I'm sorry, bro. It's fucking it's going on. That's that's it. I'm bloody coming around your joint. Monday morning. What time you boys start? Six, seven? I'll be there five. I'll be there at five AM, right? Coffee in hand. Who wants coffee? What are you drinking? Well, I won't be there at 5am, so... Well, mate, I'll bloody put it in a thermos thing, right, and it'll stay nice and hot for you. So what, what coffee do you want? I'll get a couple for the boys, too. Yeah, I'll be right. Well, I'm... I'm right, right, mate, I'll coffee... Right, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming over, mate. I'm coming on Monday. Very good. All right. Well, I wish you the best. Um, but I'll, I'll go now. I've got to get... <laughs> mate, I love you, all right? You need to do something for me here. <laughs> Keep your chin up. There's work out. No, my chin is so fucking high, I can't even see the floor right now, bro. I'll be there Monday morning with a big fat coffee and big fat lips ready to suck your cock if I need to. Right. No, no thanks. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. All right, mate. I'll see you Monday. No, please don't. That sounds like I got the job. I got the job. <laughs> that was rough, man. I was cringing hard at some points. Fuck oh. it, no reaction. He's just so calm. That, that guy. was still so beautiful. Darren is a sick fuck. Man. <laughs> you said you were going to suck his cock. <laughs> is that sexual harassment? <laughs> no, it's just it's being friendly. <laughs> well, I guess we do it to you all the time. <sighs> That's probably illegal, though. Oh, yeah, true. <clears throat> um, Look. Fair you win say. some and you lose some, all right? That's very good. I loved that. That's my favorite one so far not, this season. We need to find someone to fire it up. Might, it might take a while, guys, okay? Yeah, it's not It's not just fucking... We had, a, we had a rich vein of prank calls to end the last season with, and don't worry, we're going to get back there. We just need to find the I right I still really angle. enjoyed that. We anyway. need to find the right angle. But yeah, they don't react enough. I was I trying know, to fire we, him yeah. up by saying he was being rude, but he's just... He's too calm, too, yeah. Too calm. I did enjoy that part where he went, I strongly advise. <laughs> yeah, there was some good parts. His responses were very nice. What like, a professional I man. Like He's, he's running I'm a like, tight ship there. That's for sure. We are the best. We're 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 the best. We are the, the best. best. Fucking hell, mate. You fucking cunt. I need a scratch. You fucking my cunt, mate. Ass. Show me and your I'm fucking black hole. Get you. Show no. me your fucking ass. Stay there. Fucking cunt.